ticket man said it wasn't eligible for first class. And it was in the best of darling town. Oh, darling, so true. Yesterday, Mummy forced me to attend the post office and I had to stand in something called a queue. Is that like queue gardens? Oh, darling, what? Not a Hermes bag in sight. Luckily, I've got now my maid Clemence. Clemence, darling. <laughs> Merci, Clemence. Vous êtes un magnifique cheval. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Did you like to hear this thing, darling? Oh, darling, it's actually La Francaise. I am trying to learn all the languages of the British Empire. <laughs> So, how's your original? <laughs> so, what happened between you and Henry at Bougie last night? You know, he told me he would like, you know what, with me. What? All the way? Of course. He would go all the way with me to the Royal Ascot and bring champers. Oh, the oh. Royal Ascot is the place for high class social interaction. Absolutely. It's the food hall in Harrods, hands down. And the curtain department in Limited. Limited. <laughs> 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 so, have you been doing any country readings? No, we are. I have been reading this. I mean, it tells you all you need to know about the country and more. Oh, I've read that already. It's a classic. <laughs> Yo. What? What? That was my last friend. Her girl. He asked if Edmund was going with you to his country estate and shipping captain. Oh no. Edmund has totally gone off the rails ever since he became an actor. He was lost. Seen attending this innocent smoothie festival, dressed head to toe. H and M. Oh, that is such a turn off. <laughs> oh, and remember to take cucumber sandwiches with you to ask it in a young husband. By the way, did you know that Captain James Cook? Named the sandwich isles after him when he discovered them in 1778? Yes. Yeah.